Janam here. I started this YouTube channel to teach you coding. Now what is coding? Coding is a very important aspect of our life. The games we play, the apps we use, and even Google contains a coding. Now that I've said about Google, let me say some lines about it. Google is my way, my path, my road, and my inspiration to success. Now, you might be thinking, why is it my inspiration to success? Because I want to work with Google. Neither time nor distance can stop me from reaching there. This is all I can say for Google. I don't know if the dictionary might have enough words to describe about it. Google is like an ocean of endless knowledge. And I would even like to thank Mr. Sundar Pichai for maintaining Google so well over these many years. So that was a lot of talks. Let's start with the coding. So now I am doing this coding in Code.org. Code.org is an application where you can make apps and games. I will simplify. Code.org is where the place where you are going to create apps and games. So today we are going to create the balloon buster game. So now what is there in this game? It consists of a bow, an arrow and some balloons. So now what do we have to do in this game? So now what we have to do is that when the arrow is shot from a bow and if it's going to hit the balloons, the balloon has to burst and the score is going to add plus one. And even one more thing, we have to press the space key for the arrow to be shot. So I've written the code only a bit, but now look at how it is amplified. Look at this. So we've got one red balloon and one blue balloon right here. We've got a bow and an arrow. So now when I'm pressing the space key, look, it went ahead. So if you want to make with me like this game, then let's go. Let's start a coding. So first, what I'm going to cover today. Today, I'm going to cover of making sprites, giving them animations and scaling them. And you must be right, where did I get the animations from? Look, you can see this button right here for animations. Just click on that. But for now on, I've got five balloons, one bow and an arrow. So now, and this is the code where we are going to code it. So let's make the sprites and we are even going to put the functionality that if we've pressed space key, the arrow is going to go horizontally ahead. So let's start. We're going to write var bow is equal to create sprite. So now when you're making a variable like a sprite, what is sprite? Sprite is the performing character which is going to perform on your commands in this output area right here. So we are going to do var bow is equal to create sprite and we want to give the digits like where should it be placed, what should be the length and width right. So here we want it to be placed over here. So let's give the digits as 65 comma 210 and let's even give it the size of 10 as the width and 10 as the height. That's done and now Let's see if it's working or not. What? Why is it not yet come? I got it. Because we always need to put a function draw. Now what does this function draw do? What does this function draw do is that inside that all the functionalities are going to be placed. And even the sprites are going to be drawn from that only. So let's draw the sprites. So what should be the command for draw sprites? It should be this, draw sprites. And why does this triangular shape come in? It is no problem. It is a small shape because it is not defined in a program. So this is how it will run now. You can see the small dot right here. I'm going to zoom it for you. This small dot is the bow. Now we need to give it animation. So now what we need to do is, we need to give it as bow dot set animation. Why here? This set animation is very important and don't um, forget, right? You always need to put inverted commas. So just put those inverted commas up and you need to write what name you have given your for the animation. If you put any other name, it's not going to approve it and you have to again check. So I have given it bow. So I'm going to name it as bow right here. Now let's see if it's working or not. Oh, oh it's working. But now it is so big. We need to scale it to small, right? So let's scale it to bow dot scale is equal to 0 0.1. So this is how we're going to scale these sprites. 
both dot scale or any object dot scale and then give the digit how much you want it to scale. So now let's see if it's working or not. Yes, it is working. Now what we need to put is the arrow right in the middle over here. So now let's create the arrow. Var arrow is equal to create sprite right here. And you want it to be somewhere right here, right? So you need to give 65, comma, 205, comma, 10, comma, 10. And close up. So it's semicolon. And now you want to give it animation. Now, how to upload animation? It's right here. These are the animations I have uploaded. You can see this new animation button. Just click on that. Then you can see this upload image. Click on that. And then a box will open like a dialog box. And you can see over here, it's working on it. These are all the things. So what you need is an arrow or anything. For now on, I'm going to go with a red balloon. I'm going to open it right here. And let's see if it's working or not. You guys, it uploaded, it uploaded one, and I'm going to show you how to edit this also in Kodotori. So now, how to edit an animation. You can see this white white space. If it is there, then the running is going to come like this. I'm going to show you now how it's going to happen. That when we have this, we need to crop the sprite. Now, how to crop the sprite? You can see this rectangle selection. Just click on that. And select how much area you want to be cropped. You can see this. You want we want the lines and the balloon right here. So let's start from here and let's take it to this much and let's crop these. You can see this button, crop the sprite. Just click on that. You saw the crop cut sprite. So now what we need to do, we can even have a lasso selection. Now look at this. If you're selecting this much and if you're gonna crop it, it's gonna crop it. So it's like that, but we won't like this. So this was just a thorough of how do we add how do we add animations in code.org and how do we edit it. And I'll tell you one more thing. You can see this vertical mirror pen. Look, if you're drawing something over here, the same thing is gonna be drawn for there. So you no need to go double double. And I can show you one more thing. You can see this eraser tool, we're gonna erase it. But yeah, there's one problem when it erases it, even that's gonna wipe out. So always be careful. Look at this. When I'm erasing this, there's gonna be a small white white space. So that should not come. So you don't wanna scribble anything on the animation. And this is a normal pen for you to work. So now what you need to do is come over here. And we need to give it animation. Ever dot set animation. When you see uh, set animation, huh? right here and we need to give it in semicolons to arrow you can name it as however you want but i've named it as arrow and let us just scale it to 0 0.5 if it works or not and let's see one yahoo it's working but it's very small right let's increase everything let's increase the scale we don't want it so small yeah this is how it works it's perfect it's working perfectly now so now that we've got this let's even add some balloons so now let's add the red balloon now where to add the red balloon add the red balloon over here over here you can see the digits 2 to 3 to 40 and 40 so you want to write war where balloon is equal to create sprite then you want to put like 200 comma by uh, 400 sorry actually and give it 10 comma 10 and close it with comma and now look at this we saw a small ball over here right so now what we need to do is we need to give the animation of red balloon so let's put the animation red balloon that said animation to red balloon that's how i've put it and if you don't know if you've put it you can just close you can even backspace on this semicolon and you're gonna get that how you stay with all of the animations so right here i'm gonna select red balloon as i've said it before only and i'm gonna close it with um, a semicolon and look at this it has come right here and this is all for red balloon and even scale it if you want to scale it so that's how we're gonna do enough and see if it's proper yeah it's proper right here so you guys i've made a red balloon i want you all for homework to make yellow balloon green balloon and pink balloon you can even take the animations from google you can just go to google and type red balloon images right here 
and then you're gonna get all of the images right here so that's how you can even upload you can just save them and then upload it it's very easy so for now on i'm gonna reduce your homework as i'm gonna create the blue balloon for you blue balloon is going to create sprites right here and then you want to put like a digit as 300 comma 100 comma 10 comma 10 it's gonna be perfect then right here and then you want to give it animations balloon dot set animation to you want to set the animation to blue balloon right so i'm going to select this blue balloon i'm going to come over here and i'm going to scale the blue balloon blue balloon does scale is equal to 0 0.5 comma now let's see if it's working or not if it's working then good the orders we need to change some code right here so here you go yeah it is working it is working properly so you guys this is what i did and now i want you guys to put the green balloon and yellow balloon i'm gonna send this link in the description below for you to for reference and yeah how will you how will i know how that you did it you have to send the link in the comments down below and now we even gonna do one more thing we are gonna give it if the space key on the laptop is pressed then the arrow has to move forward so just put if right here and put like if key went down you can see this option click on that and in um, inverted commas but if space key went down then you want to put um that arrow dot velocity x now what is this velocity x the velocity x is the horizontal velocity of the arrow so now velocity x is equal to minus 10 no minus 10 will go to the left but we want it to go to the right so let's just put 10 right here and finish it now let's see if it's working or not yes it's working but what is this why is it happening like this we just need to put a background so you want to put background you can see this background drawing click on that and you want to put background as white then no problems will happen like that now look at this run it and now look everything is proper right now so that is all we're gonna do for today don't forget to like this video subscribe my channel and like this video for more gameplays just like this i'll meet you in the next video till then goodbye